Welcome to a very special Holiday Cube Draft! This is Andre Aguides de Jardin, and I'll just so y'all know, I'm not the best at draft, this Cube Draft, at all. Uh, so this is going to be more for fun. So let's see what immediately jumps out here is uh, Mind Stone, the uh, Signet, Nether Void's Fun Card, so is Valorath Stronghold, and just so you all know, I'm going to be drafting cards that I find fun. Uh, this isn't going to be a serious draft where I try to win or anything like that. So uh, it's between the ninth milestone and the signet. You just want me—I just want man acceleration. I want to play big dudes, big scary dudes. <coughs> Both allow me to be pretty open, but I think the choice is the signet. Okay, here, nothing amazing jumps out. Uh, Air to Mesa lets me to be pretty open. If I pick stuff up, so does the Temple Garden. Um, yeah, nothing super spectacular in these packs. Frantic Search is pretty disgusting. Um, uh, I think I'm going to take the Zest Conscripts, though, because I find them fun. They're one of my favorite cards printed. Okay, so Tolkad is gross. Uh, Price of Progress is pretty good. I'm going to take the Blood Bright Elf, because again, I find it fun. Maybe I'll end up playing the red deck. You never know. Uh, Dream Halls is also fairly disgusting, as is Damnation. But I'm just going to take the Blood Bright Elf. Because I want fun cards. And those Conscript and Blood Bright Elf are fun. I've still run the Signet. Mana Excel is still really good, even if it's not in your color. Any ores off or any big guy, I'm slamming, by the way. Okay. So, Shrine of the Burning Rage. Cast a red spell, burn. Uh, the Arbor Elf is by far the best card in this pack, though. The Excel is by far the best card in this pack. The Ramp. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, a Lotus Bloom is fine for Storm. Sort of like. I can't believe Storm of Light Shadow is here, but I can't believe Tree Speaker is still here as. That is disgusting ramp, almost as good as a soul ring. Ancient tomb would also be a sweet pickup. But we're just gonna take the tree speaker. I just want dumb ramp. Ramp into awesome things. Do do do. Do, do, do. Come on, this is Cube Draft! This isn't fair. Let's go! Alright. Uh, here, nothing super spectacular. Tangle Wire can be pretty unfair. So can Vraska the, uh, Vraska the Unseen's Blah. Ah, oh, there's Badlands. It's a card. I think I'm gonna take Vraska because she destroys stuff. Destroying stuff is fun. So far, I haven't found anything too sick. So far, nothing here is too unfair. I really want to find something just unfair. Ah, uh, right now, it's the Birds of Paradise. Not even close. Like, these cards are fair. Why would I play any of the Krakis? Is also a fine pickup. But it's just mana ramp. I just want a mana ramp into something unfair. Uh, 
I'm upset. I haven't seen very many unfair cards. Deep Shadow, I think. Once again, most of these cards seem seem rather fair. Uh, elves, I guess, would help with Vraska a bit too, and it's Ramp. Do, do, do. <laughs> Nothing this deck does is particularly unfair yet. Okay, so we're back here. I could see me play. It's either Primal Command or Nether Void. Target player gains seven life, or Plow Under, or Search Library for a creature card. It's so between these two. I could see me if I got early enough stuff Nether Void, but I think it's Primal Command. Primal Command's pretty good. Um, with the acceleration, I can probably get it out second or third turn, and then I can do awesome stuff. Um, Beast from Within, I guess, I may end up playing. It can help undo some unfair stuff. I'll move Price of Progress to the side right now. Uh, Overgrown Tomb, Mana Fixing, but Wall of Blossom. God, Wall of Blossoms is good. But I think I'm just going to take the Overgrown Tomb. Uh, Pulse can help me do some stuff. Get rid of Sulfuric Vortex. Come damage to a player, that player discards a card. He might be played, who knows. I don't see it though, he seems way too fair. I just want to do unfair things. Like, get a channel. Do, do. I'm gonna move Headhunter to the side. So, top is really good. Vampiric Tutor is the card, as is Grave Titan. Um, God. I think it is the Tutor right now. It might be Grave Titan, though. Grave Titan is fairly unfair, if I can get him out early enough. I mean, everything else in here is fairly okay. It's definitely between the Grave Titan and the Tutor. I think I'm going to take the Titan. I want something, be sure. That's a channel! And that's an F And that's two boxes. Wow, this pack's sweet. Um, None of these cards are fair. At all. I think I take the Mox Ruby. <coughs> Skull Clamp isn't fair either. But I think it's just the ruby. Um, hmm. All of these seem fairly okay. Ah, uh, I can do some dumb things with cubicle. I wish I took that wasteland now. Cubicle has the most potential to be unfair, so I'm taking that. See, I'll plow under, but plow under will probably circle. Plow under is definitely the least fair card here, but it would probably circle. Of course, so should Gregory Mangler. Um, I'm taking plow under. It's the least fair of everything there. Just elves for mana excel. Though sneak attack is fairly, I don't know. Sneak attack is probably the most unfair thing here. I'm just going to take Sneak Attack. It's not close to being fair. Uh, 
Now with sneak attack, I have to take disgusting guys. Not that it should matter. All the moxes should just be gone. Come on, next pack, let's go. Do 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 Excuse me. A little more upbeat music, because you know we're doing a little more upbeat draft. Come on. Am I just disconnected or something? Nope. Here we go. Let's see. Well, the drawing cards is pretty unfair. Uh, it's probably Inferno Titan. Maybe it's the Catacombs. The catacombs and Crucible seem to go pretty good. But Inferno Titan also is amazing. I think I want the catacombs. I want a good mana base. Uh, that's a Mersha's workshop. And that is like the least, one of the least fair cards possible. So let's see. Uh, Mer Battle Spear. Fairly unfair. Awesome with ramp. Awesome with workshop. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Um, I think it's the Torch Fiend. He may be playable. He kills artifacts, so that's fine. He's in our colors. He kills artifacts. I think I'll move him to the side, though. Versus Workshop, for those of you who don't know, is tapped at three colors, but can only be spent on artifacts. So, channel made it back around. So I'm going to take Channel, as Channel should not have made it back around. Channel is quite possibly, besides the power 10, the least fair card around. I sadly am not going to get that Emrakul cool, probably, but oh well. I'll take the Rot Farm. It's fine. It's a card. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to take this Mastercore now to go with Workshop and everything. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. The awesome thing about this cube is you'll end up playing stuff you never thought you would. Um, I'll move that to the side, I guess. I'm not playing those two other cards. What do I want some dirtly assassin for? Um, sure. We'll take that, I guess, to help splash with the red. The thing about these lands is if they won them, you're so screwed. And you're going to the side. I don't think the model red deck is being drafted here. Alright. Let's crack some awesome stuff. Last pack. Spang Chandra. It's probably Umog the Infinite. With channel. Just channel him's pretty good. Um, probably like Lake of the Dead to make it around to me. That'd be a card. Oh yeah, Umog the Infinite. <laughs> Sneak attack him. Here, Umog the Infinite! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Dude. 
Okay. So here it's between Mana Crypt and Blightsteel Colossus. Oh man, so much better. I'm sorry, Blightsteel. As good as you are, it's Mana Crypt. That's just so you know. Flip a coin if you lose, flip it deals three damage to me, but I get to tap to add two colorless. So yeah, that's way better. Just allows me for so many dumb second and third turn things. As much as Blightsteel is an artifact and goes well with Workshop. Probably one of the Sainets. Fondle Shaman's pretty good. Molten Tail Massacre is pretty good, but I think it's just the Celestia Signet. Consuming Vapors is also good, as is Scrubland, but it's just a Signet. That's what I'm taking. I'm um, natural, but I don't have that many green guys. Taiga's red green? I can take that. I think it's Taiga, nothing else. Nope. Um, Eureka? Eureka seems pretty unfair. I mean, it's actually is quite fair in this format. Put a permanent card from planned into play. Yeah, I think it's Eureka. I don't think there's much else here. Okay, so what do we have? Tooth and Nail. Uh, Silver Heart. I'm just gonna take Shriek Maul. He kills a lot that I need to worry about. Um, I think it's Pumice. Short target non-creature. Pumice seems really good. Sneak attack him out with Persist seems pretty alright. Okay. I think it is Gristlebrain over Angel here. Though Angel is really good. Grizzlebrand! Draw me a bunch of cards, do a bunch of dumb stuff, Gristlebrand. Um I did get some bigger guys. I don't have a way to mill them in though. So it's probably Lake of the Dead. Could also be a uh, Frexian Ranger, too. But it's probably just Lake of the Dead. That's a card. Future didn't would help me discard. Um, I could hate the Into the Royal. I think I'll just hate the Into the Royal. Molten Tail Massacre seems fine. Was the Sacrifice Lion destroy target non-basic land? That can go along with Crucible of Worlds, too. What are you at the end of your up key? Unless you discard a card. To target creature or player, regen them. I think I'm going to take Dust Bowl over the Massacre. Uh, it's just the tree that kills artifacts, enchantments, and stuff. Uh, get Old Man to the Sea to the side. Fire Pig to the side. And I don't think I'm going to end up playing him. Maybe I will. Who knows? 
I just want to ramp into something disgusting. That's how you play. So I'm going to stop this right here. I'm going to see you all for deck building.